Balita National. Good morning, Pilipinas, and welcome to another edition of Balitang National. For this video, allow me to use English and Tagalog as our medium of instruction. Eksklusibo dito sa Balitang National ang pagsimplify ng rational expression na ito. Ito ay tinatawag na isang rational expression kasi nga we can find variables or polynomials in both numerators and denominators. Even if it's only on denominator, it's still called a rational expression. So pagsimplify nito, we are going to factor out what can be factored, specifically yung nasa denominator natin. Huwag natin gamitin yung cancellation law sa pagsimplify ng 5 at saka 25 dito, saka yung b at saka b squared. It's because the cancellation law is no longer possible for terms or coefficients na separated ng addition or subtraction. Ang gagawin natin dito, isabi ko nga, is if a factor natin yung nasa denominator natin. Ang denominator natin is considered as a um, difference of two squares. Okay? It's called a difference of two squares kasi uh, both terms are in perfect square of another term and they are separated with subtraction. So, we can just do it like this. We just need to write yung 5 minus b pa rin sa ating numerator at saka if a factor natin yung denominator natin. Again, sure na sure tayo na difference of two squares yung denominator natin. Kaya, we have to be assured that there are two binomial expressions that will be multiplied to get the said result. At saka ganito po ang pag-factor ng difference of two squares natin. Take the square root of the first term, b squared, so b. And we have the b here as well. Now, we need to take the square root of the last term, which is, or the second term, 25. Ang square root po ng 25 is either 5 and negative 5. So you have here 5 and 5 here as well. Now, in factoring, difference of two squares, uh, we have binomial expressions, and the terms are separated by opposite signs. So you'll have here b plus 5, and b minus 5. Okay lang din po kung isusulat natin una yung uh, b minus 5 uh, at saka na yung b plus 5 kasi nga they are factors and they, under, they are under multiplication and multiplication is commutative. However, we cannot do this po. We cannot cancel this kasi nga yung numerator natin is 5 minus b at saka yung denominator natin is b minus 5. There is no commutativity po for subtraction. Kaya na nga po ng 2 minus 1 is 1, at saka 1 minus 2 is negative 1. We don't have the same results. Pero pag plus po ito, we can do this po. Kasi nga po, addition is commutative. Pero let's return po sa original na given natin. So ano po mangyayari if ever wala po tayong makakancel? Actually po, let's try to rearrange our numerator. And instead of 5 minus b, gawin natin siyang negative b, at saka since positive yung 5, plus 5. All over the same factors po, b plus 5 and times b minus 5. Okay, another caution po dito, baka yung iba sa atin, dito pong gagawin. Di po pwede yan po. Kasi po, yung b sa taas is negative at sa kito po ay positive. So, anong mayayari po? Let's try to factor negative 1 po sa ating numerator. So, we will uh, left rear with positive na po yung b. Kasi we took out po yung negative sign po ng B. Or we took out a negative 1 from B. And if we ever do the same thing po, kasi nga po, we are factoring, so gagawin din natin po sa ating 5, yung matitira po sa second term is a negative 5. Di na po siya positive 5. Bakit po? Kasi yung positive 5 po, when we took out a negative, positive is a result of multiplying two negative signs. Since we take out negative sign, dapat yung matitira po is negative then. Kasi pag ipa-plus po natin ito at saka i-apply natin yung distributive property, iba na po yung sagot natin. So, ganyan po mangyayari. Still, over the same factors. B plus 5 and you have here B minus 5 sa kabila. Now, we have noticed that there are similar uh, coefficients now and since negative 1 at saka B minus 5 is separate multiplication at saka yung factors sa denominator are also separate with multiplication, we can now use here the cancellation law. Kasi yung cancellation law po is cancellation law for multiplication. And after this, ito na po mangyayari. Since our numerator is negative 1, so it stays negative 1 po. All over 
our final result in the denominator, which is B plus 5. Ito po yung simplified form ng ating original rational expression. We did this by applying the factoring of difference of two squares and factoring a negative uh, common factor on our numerator pa. Lesser Lucy Gumpan, nagbabalita for Balitang Rational. Huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe, i-like, at i-share ang video ito. Maraming salamat!